again Trying hard but you wanna be my friend Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to Here we go, here we go again Call my bluff, I'ma be here till the end I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to If you What's up and welcome back to my channel, Namaste. On popular demand, I'm here with the Desi look. A lot of you wanted to see um, a festive look and this is it. When I think of wearing Indian, this is what comes to mind. Um, I love a simple blouse and a simple sari with just very easy jewelry. Um, and I feel very sexy and confident right now. Let me just tell you, I love a good sari, low key. I love wearing saris. It's just that I just haven't found the right I don't know, I just don't know fashion a lot and so I have to do a little bit of research. I'm super inspired by all of you because you pushed me to do this today and yeah, this is it. I feel so good. I have nowhere to go <laughs> but I just love a good blowout and just you know who I'm inspired by? Sushmita Sen from Mehuna. Like, I freaking love her style. And especially in that movie, I feel like she's so poised. And this is me when I think of Desi. Honestly, I love to do up the eyes but keep the rest of it really simple. So, you can literally wear this anywhere. It's the festive season and so I thought I'd do a few Indian looks. This is one of my favorites. So yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna show you how you can get this makeup look as well as a little bit of body glow etc you know the drill so let's quickly jump into the video all right guys um after having lived my bollywood dream right there with the hawa and all of that <laughs> i'm gonna teach you how you can achieve this look it's super simple first things first we're gonna prep our skin i'm using the color bar water primer and i'm just going to put that all over my face it's very important to prep your skin before you go in with foundation I'm picking up the MAC Stroke Cream, this is in the shade Pink Light and I'm adding this because it just gives a very nice luminosity to the skin um, and when you're doing such a heavy glam it's important to um, you know set the right base. If your base is good now, the rest of the makeup just falls so smoothly after that. Then I'm going to take the Color Bar Primer and I'm taking this to mattify my face. So um, you can apply this on your T-zone. I like this primer a lot. It is slightly thick but very nice. And for foundation, I'm taking the Color Bar Foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. It has the most beautiful finish on the face. Now if you don't want something heavy duty but you don't want something super light that has no coverage, um, I'd recommend this product. It's got a decent amount of coverage and your skin looks like skin. And I also love it because it's travel friendly. You can take it everywhere. Look at the skin though. It is beautiful. That's because the foundation didn't dry out my skin. Then I'm going to take my favorite concealer, this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal and I'm just going to put that around my eyes since there's a little bit darkness going on, I want to cancel it using this concealer. Oh by the way, this is in the shade Pure Beige. Are you excited for the festive season you guys? Even though we'll be at home but we'll have fun, right? Uh, I'm taking this L'Oreal concealer, this is the infallible concealer and in the shade amber this gives me a slightly higher coverage so I'm just applying a little bit on all the areas I think I need coverage um, and I'm just taking my brush and pushing the product into the skin. Just going around my lip because I have some pigmentation around there as well and this concealer does a great job of covering it. I'm taking my favorite loose powder, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, this is in the shade Light 15. I'm putting that under my eye and setting the rest of my face with it as well. You want to make sure you're setting your face very well uh, when you're doing something like this because it's a glam look and you don't want your foundation to budge. I'm just getting rid of my bake and then we're gonna move ahead with brows. I'm taking the Rufa Beauty Brow Pencil in Ebony. I've been loving this product. Uh, it's got the perfect amount of pigmentation and I feel like I can get a great brow. Look at that, like super natural, but uh, it just added a lot of volume to my existing brows. And then I'm going ahead and using a brow gel from Benefit um, just to lighten them a little bit. 
So to begin my look, I'm going to take a black eyeshadow and put it underneath my eye and then jump in with the NYX palette. I tried to use all drugstore products for this eye look and I succeeded. I absolutely loved how this eye look turned out, you guys. It's super festive, it's super me. Um, so I'm playing around with the regular warm colors. You can see my sari color as well, it's sort of matching. So I'm playing around with orange, with um, you know slightly brown colors. So, yep. This is a look I did that goes with every other outfit. Um, I'm taking the Swiss Beauty liquid eyeshadow um, and it is so freaking beautiful. You have to know how to work this because it can get chunky. So make sure you're applying a little bit and then tapping it with your finger, applying more and tapping it with your finger. That's how I learned uh, to work this eyeshadow in because once you just layer it on, it starts to clump. So make sure you are applying little by little. By the way, this eyeshadow just literally made the eye look stand out so well because it's shimmer, yeah? it's like all over the eyes and it's very, very Diwali. I'm taking the Lakme Absolute Spotlight Palette and I'm picking up that burgundy purple color purple color yeah and I'm putting that on the outer corner because I felt like it's um, it was matching my sari a little better and I like that different shade of purple. I'm taking a smaller brush and I'm focusing that in my crease just for a deeper effect and then taking my blending brush and blending it all out very nice and seamlessly. I'm going ahead with the color bar kajal and I'm putting that in my waterline. Be careful when you're putting your kajal, you don't want to budge your concealer. So make sure you're taking your time and doing that. From that same palette, I'm picking up that pink color and I'm adding it to my lower lash line. Now make sure you're taking your time and smoking this out really well and make sure it's got that blown out effect. Blending is key to flawless makeup, you guys. Um, I'm also gonna pick up that black and I'm gonna go very, very close to my lash line, as you can see, because I wanted that kajal effect. For lashes, I'm picking the Rene Cosmetics lashes and I'm just gonna put some Pro Art glue and I'm gonna set it aside until it's a little bit tacky for me to use. I'm going to take my blending brush, blend my eyeshadow a little bit and then move on to bronzer. This is the L'Oreal Back to Bronze bronzer and I'm just going to put that all over my face. I love a good bronzing work when I'm doing a, you know, a high-end glam look because it just brings the look together. So make sure you're spending a lot of time bronzing up your face. It really highlights your features. And I'm just going to contour my nose as well. Um, this bronzer is absolutely stunning, man. I cannot get enough of it. Um, I'm taking my beauty sponge and I'm just going to go over it so that it's not too harsh. And then I'm taking my Flower Beauty mascara and I'm just going to prep my lashes before my falsies. And yeah, we're just gonna slap that on and before you know it, our lashes are on, boom. Yeah, that makes a lot of difference, you guys. Now, I'm taking my Too Faced liner. You can take whatever liner, gel liner, kajal, anything you have at home just to hide the lash band. It's very important to remember to do that because then, you know, you can see the lash band and that's not fun. Um, I'm just gonna apply some lower lash mascara and then move on to blush. For blush, I'm taking the Color Bar blush and I'm just going to apply that on my cheeks. I thought this was such a different color and matched my sari. Yeah, I go a little ham with my blush because I feel like A, it fades really fast. And B, blush is everything. You gotta apply it everywhere. I apply it on my nose, my cheek. I do a lot of rounds of blush, guys. That's just who I am. Um, and I'm just gonna go over it with my beauty sponge to just blend it all together. Now I'm taking off my lip balm and then I'm just going to um, firstly do my hair. <laughs> I freaking love this hair straightener. I'm going to have it linked down below. It's the new Philips hair straightener. It is bomb.com and it is affordable and it's become my favorite hair straightener. Like this is unreal. The amount of shine, the smoothness girls you gotta have it um i'm gonna use some makeup fixer to just melt all the makeup in and next step would be highlighter i'm taking the l'oreal highlighter and this is such a beautiful beautiful highlighter like you can see oh my goodness uh perfect for this look i'm gonna apply that on the higher parts of my cheekbone my temples you know the deal Now 
make sure you are glowing darling put that on your nose on your chin I'm just gonna hit my brow bone with that and I'm just gonna line my lips now I'm using my lip pencil in sore as usual cannot live without it it's my go-to guys um, for lipstick I'm using um, I think I mixed like a combination of two lipsticks I wanted like the perfect pink uh, so I took the Huda Beauty power bullet lipstick in interview I think this is a very nice subtle new color and then I'm taking the Nykaa Ultra Matte Lipstick in Audrey, I believe, and I'm just going to put that over top and it just gave me the exact shade I was looking for for this look. Now we're going to pop on some Bindi, boop, and we're going to add some jewelry. Um, I've had this for a very long time, so I'm just going to put that there. A uh, Mang Tika. And then uh, there's a little trick I learned in my modeling days. So I take my lash glue and I'm just going to put it where I want my mangtika to sit and I'm just going to stick it there and it is not going to move uh, because if you just put it on like that it's going to go all over the place so now <laughs> it does not budge I'm taking these earrings that I bought like years ago um, I don't have that many Indian jewelry but I think I should invest in it I really like dainty soft Indian jewelry I think it looks so beautiful uh, I'm taking some MAC Stroke Cream and I'm applying that on my body. Don't forget your body. If it's exposed, you want to make sure you are also putting some kind of lotion, illuminating cream, something on there, okay? Because you got to glow. Um, I'm taking the highlighter and I'm just going to go over that uh, to bring out my features even more, darling. The boobage and everything needs to be highlighted. I'm going to add um, some other accessories like bangles. So again, I've had these for years. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I'm just going to um, carve out my cheekbone a little bit. I always do this as an end step. It just looks very good and it accentuates the makeup that I did. Just let it sit for 10 seconds and then get rid of it. And yeah, the sari that I'm wearing was gifted to me by someone. I will have a link down below and the blouse is a Zara crop top. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and look at me going all dramatic for you. This is all for you, huh, guys? All these ada and look and it's all for you right there. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I love you. I hope you enjoyed my first Desi look. More to come. Uh, thank you so much for all your love and I love you. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah.